What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Tartar. I mean I can't really see it. The lighting is not so great in here. But um, what's up Tartar? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing so well today. So I'm going to do your general reading. I will pull two oracles, clarify, and give you some advice, all right? All right, Tar, obviously, I know y'all can see I'm not where I usually am today. Um, but we might be here next week as well. I don't know how long we're going to be over here, but, you know, I'm just going with the flow. So we're going to be here. Um, so, yeah, just be patient with me, okay? Okay. Also, grand rising because it's earlier than a mother when I'm recording this. All right, Tar, let's see. Where's that from? Is that, is that the Lion King? That is the Lion King. Is it? I might be wrong. I think it's a Lion King. I'm thinking Lion King. If it's not Lion King, I apologize, but. That's what I'm thinking right now. Um, so I feel like a lot of you guys are about to rise up. Like, I feel like you guys are about to, like, save. Like, you're going to be the savior of your family or something. Maybe you've been quiet for a while. Like, you're about to, like, Tars up now or something. All right. You're about to shake the room in a good way, though. <laughs> Okay, the first card you have is third chakra in reverse. I apologize about the lighting. I'm going to bring my ring camera in here um, next time. Uh, third chakra in reverse. Okay, so something about your stability or your foundation does not feel solid here. You have Uranus and Cardinal. Revolution, invention, initiation, spark, vision. Yeah, because you got you to gotta change it. That's why. Something got to change and it has to come from you. The only way that you could change your finances and stability right now is by you. You doing something. What is their chakra in reverse? Uranus and Cardinal. Two of Swords. Six of Cups. The Ace of Swords and the Lovers. It's a big decision, I know. Mm. It's not going to be the first one that you that you go after or whatever so you're gonna have to keep looking i don't feel like it's the first one um <clears throat> i feel like you might get like some type of offer or whatever but i do feel like it's gonna like end really quickly or something like that um i do feel like there's a better offer coming in with the knight of cups but you're not looking for it that's the problem some of you guys want it to come to you it's not gonna happen you're like but i'm open though that's beautiful but you still gotta do in the work you still gotta you still you gotta go and get whatever this is all right um let me see what is this two of swords very big decision here the empress is in reverse Staying where you're at is not an option, Tar. You don't deserve to be there. You know that. So that's not an option. Staying where you're at is not an option, Tar. Let it go. Why is this here? Because you put a lot of work into it already. You're just like, I'm already here. So what, bro? Don't get comfortable, all right? Change is the only concept. The Queen of Cups. Don't you care about it? King of Swords, the Page of Swords. But if you're honest with yourself, you know you have to make this decision. Four of Cups in reverse. You know this. So what is this Page of Swords here in reverse? The Hermit. Hold yourself accountable for the fact that you're not really doing research. You're not really online looking. You're not really putting yourself out there. Keep, hold yourself accountable for that. Maybe some of you guys... I feel like whenever the universe shows out the... Hermit. It could be that you're complaining too much to the universe or complaining about your money or whatever, but it's like, are you doing anything to change that dynamic or are you just sitting around waiting for the universe to bring you something, to show you something, to show you the way? You have the answers within yourself. I know that sounds cliche, 
but that's legit what it is. We have the answers within ourselves, but you have to... It's like the universe also, I'm realizing a lot this year, that, that they'll send you one way just so that you can go in another direction. Like, it's never, it's never a clear-cut path. It's always like, okay, well, you're going to go through this path, but... You know, while you're on this path, it's going to be like a little shortcut or like a little cut through, you know, a little back road or whatever. And then you're going to take the back road and then you're going to find the answers that you need. Like it's that's how the universe works. But the universe does that because they want to see us put in the work, put in the action, like do something and be consistent. I don't feel like you're really moving or doing anything about it. So, you know, that's what the universe wants you to know. They know that you like it here and. That it's amazing and whatever, but it's not it's not helping your finances and stability or it's affecting it in a negative way. And I feel like the universe is some of you guys, this is some you could be entrepreneur. Some of you guys, this is you there's something that you could do within yourself. Like you could like start selling stuff, start doing stuff, like invent something. And I mean I don't feel like it's an event, but for some of you guys it could be shit, whatever. But I feel like there's something within you that you could do that you could start that maybe you don't want to. Or, um, like I said, some of you guys just need to start looking. All right. Even if you get a no, keep looking. Because the offer is out there. It's just waiting for you to find it. Okay. The next card you have is Goddess of the Moon. All right. So I feel like you're, there's a lot of fear here when it comes to something. You have first house self body presence all right it could be an aries um there's a lot of fear surrounding your body here or uh, an aries or how you come off um to others you have the fool the ten of coins in reverse the nine of cups and the five of swords in reverse with the nine of coins so i feel like um you want to take a leap of faith or you want to do something new, but it's like either this Aries needs to get their ish together or you need to get your ish together. <laughs> I feel like you want to do it. This is your wish here. You want to do this. Um, and I feel like you know you want to do this. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know, Tar. This is kind of confusing. What is this ton of coins here? There's definitely something in the way. Okay, what is this? The sun card. It could be a Leo in the way specifically. It doesn't have to be, though. But I feel like... Okay, I, all right. What is the Nine of Cups, though? I'm trying to get the full... The moon is here again. It's going to be a Cancer. Is that true though? <sighs> Is this um, um, Taurus people? No. Okay, so I don't I don't know if it's you or the person you're connected to. This this is kind of like all over the place, just the energy, all right? Um so I don't take it how it resonates, okay? But I feel like there's a new leap of faith that you want to take and there's a blockage. I feel like there's a unbalanced family situation with this ton of pentacles or unbalanced financial situation that is about to end okay like it's about to end like that's over or it is over i feel like there was a lack i feel like it made you happy but there was a lack of growth a lack of expansion you know what i'm saying i feel like you were the the smartest person in the room that type of energy um i feel like that's coming to an end and i feel like you're realizing that like now you're in the clear to go towards this person this could be them as well take please take this how this resonates like i said i'm it's kind of a little over the place all right i feel like um you don't see that you're not gonna have that you're, you're gonna you're not gonna have anything to worry about or you didn't see this coming 
I feel like there was a block for you to be with this person. That block is now gone. And it's like the avenue is open. Do you want to take it? But I feel there's a lot of fear because you're realizing, damn, this is this is what I've always wanted my whole entire life or something. And you're also realizing, damn, it was you guys who stopped it or whatever. This could be them as well. Take it how it resonates, okay? But I feel like someone is single and ready to mingle, okay? Um, Towers of Inverse and the Seven of Wands of Inverse. I feel like for a very long time, Tar, you were kind of trying to avoid this. But it's kind of like when this goes left, you're going to be like, I mean, can the signer get more signy? Or like, I feel like you're going to be like, can the path get more obvious? Like, you know, type of energy. And I feel like the universe wants you to you know go off your instinct and do what you, with this aries energy here it's like go for it do it right um type of thing because i feel like on a cup this is your wish for real for real and i feel like um you know that's why the universe is doing this could be a cancer i think i said that already Okay, but a lot of Aries energy here. If you have Aries in your chart, I would definitely go watch that reading. Okay, it could also be a Gemini. All right. The last card you have is Envy in reverse. Okay, so someone here um, does not envy you. Someone here actually likes you. Okay, you have Fire, Air, First Quarter, Moon, Ascendant, and Gaia. Okay, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Radiant, enthusiastic, dynamic, expansive, intellectual, exquisitive, momentum, initiative, magnetism, appearance, first impression, mask, earth, nature, embodiment. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn I, with that earth energy there, or that could be you, but damn. There's something about... The first impression with this person, I thought like this is a person. I got it. I feel like this is a person. Okay. Um, I feel like you're very drawn. Something about candy. I'm not gonna say that. What I am gonna say is that somebody. Like, why am I getting these messages, Spirit? Can y'all? Damn. I don't think I've ever gotten sexual messages before. And, like, this year, it's like they're all over the place. <sighs> um, Somebody wants to, like, do nasty stuff with candy. Like, freaky stuff. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna say what I saw. But just, that's just the main picture. All right. Now, this person, I feel like this person is very smart, very intellectual. They're very fun here. I feel like they also, like, are very in, um, innovative as well. I feel like they're very balanced individual. I feel like you like the way this person looks. I feel like you like their face. Something about the first impression. Okay, so what? I'm not understanding. This person is not envious of you or jealous of you. This person is not a negative individual. Um, what is this? Let's see why you need, why you want to know that. You have the Hierophant in reverse. Could be a Taurus, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Strength card. Could be a Leo, Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. King of Cups in reverse, the Sun. Heavy on the Leo energy. Um, Ace of Wands in reverse. This person is a butthole. I ain't gonna front. <laughs> Strength card crossing the Hierophant in reverse. This person is really stubborn. Um, This person feels like they can... This person makes their own rules and they want everybody to follow them, okay? This is somebody who um, shows their strength by creating their own rules. And if you, you know, don't follow their rules, they're, they're going to rawr, rawr, you know? But it's their own rules that they made up. Like, it's, it doesn't even follow your, it doesn't follow your morals and your values because they're made up rules. Um, you know, I feel this person has a lot of qual a lot of good qualities. Let's not let's let's not you know what I'm saying. They do, but it's like eh. 
right? You probably feel the same way. You have the Four of Cups and the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like what you don't see is that you're about to be able to escape this energy or you're about to be... Let me see. I don't feel like it's escape. I feel like you're going to finally see this person's true colors. Like, I feel like you're going to see this person for who they are. And you're just going to be like, okay, well, that's just who you are. And um, if I have to be in your world... Like, like if, if in order for me to be in your world, I have to follow your rules and I'm just not going to be in your world. I feel like you don't have hatred towards this person, but I feel like you don't like the way they move. And maybe and maybe we've been wanting to know, like, are they trying to, like, do something to me or are they trying to, like, work against me? They're not. They're not. But definitely, you know, if you're going to be in this person's world, you already know what's up. So it's like, don't even go to this person's world. Stay as far away as possible. The Sun card. I feel like you're a lot happier anyway without this person. The King of Cups is in reverse. This person uses how you care about them to to their advantage, right? Obviously, with the Hierophant in reverse, they make their own rules. Um, the Two of Wands. I feel like you're moving forward anyway. You're not going to start something new with this person. Um, I feel like you're going to change. Like, I feel like this person would, like, with this Strength card, like, this raw, raw energy. Like, maybe they, like, I don't want to say they, like, scared you, but I feel like maybe, you know... They knew how to, like, be rah-rah and, like, make you do what they want. Now, I feel like you're going to see right through that. You're going to... It's like they're, they're like, rah! And you're like, oh, do you want me to pet you? Do you want a treat? I'm going to get you a treat. It's like you're going to be completely different to this person. But I feel like there's a part of you that, like, you know... I don't know. This could be, a, this could be somebody close to you, somebody important in your life. You know, I don't see this relationship ending with this person, but I do see a very, a, a huge change within yourself on how you handle this individual is what I feel. You, you didn't see this coming. It's literally going to be from, like, I feel like whatever happened, obviously I thought this person did something or said something that um, made it very clear. What is the Hierophant in reverse? Eight of Cups in reverse. You you could have left the situation and went back to it. The Page of Wands. And this person was like, "Oh shit, Tar's coming! All right, well, well now this is my this is my this is my um, what's the thing? This is my chance to put down my rules and have them follow it, even though I know that it bothers them. Like I feel like this person like, and that's the thing, right? E but they're not envious. So, I mean, I don't know. But I feel like this person, like, said, made certain rules or whatever because they knew that you, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is that, you know, and since they have envy in reverse, it's like these rules, this person really, or these values, this person really, like, that, like I said, that is how, that is the only way that they can, like, eat in the morning. That is the only way that, that, that they can, um... That they have some type of control in their life is by making up these rules or whatever. And it's like they don't care if these rules don't fit with you. They just are like, you better fit to it. <laughs> okay, I don't know. The chariot. You're moving on. You could be moving away from this person. It could be a cancer, the knight of swords. Yeah, you out of there. The lovers in reverse. I feel like I feel like it's just sad because the connection now, I don't feel like will ever be the same. I don't think the connection will ever be the same um, after this situation. But sometimes that's what's needed, Tar. Okay, for real. All right, let's get you some advice. All right, Spirit, what's Cardinal, Uranus, and Third Chakra in reverse? You have Driftwood. Go with the flow. Trust where the universe is taking you, okay? So I feel like the universe wants you to trust where they're taking you. You know that they're taking you somewhere where your finances and stability is going to change or they're, like, trying to guide you to that, to change something, to create something, to invent something, to start something. Do that, all right? What's Goddess of the Moon and First House? You have Avalon Cho, healing from the inside out, okay? Yeah, I feel like this family situation or this work situation really did a number on you. I feel like um, you could have lost a lot because of this family situation or this work situation. Like, I feel like 
you're realizing that now and you're healing that now, which is good, okay? Stingray, beware of your surroundings, mindfulness. Yeah, now you know, right? Um, like I like I like I always say, blood don't make you family, loyalty does. And that's a fact. What is um envy, Gaia descendant? You have hermit, resourcefulness and adaptability. This could be a Virgo over here. And you have island, find strength and solitude. Yeah, I feel like the universe just wants you to be away from this person. And with hermit crab, it's this, that's exactly what you're doing. You're you're learning how to deal with this person. You're adjusting to their, you know, the way that they are. Because you know that you can't change them. So you're just like, okay, well, I'm just going to stay in solitude away from you. <laughs> I just won't come over. I just will stop hanging out with you. I'll stop being your friend. Whatever this is. Pirate shell, set, set sail on a new adventure. Yeah, you're out of there. You're just like, I don't got time. Some of you guys could be moving as well. Um, you know, because it's like you have control here. And you're going to take that control and use it for the right way, right? Um, this, is, this is good. I, I, I feel like you're, you're like getting like a oomph. Like you're getting like a backbone right now um, towards this person that I feel like you never thought you would have, Okay. All right, Tar, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.